That was such a great movie. I know. I like the dream sequence part. <laughs> Me too. It was so funny. I don't know. I found it pretty uh, pointless. I've seen better movies. Oh, well, me and Mindy were going to see it again. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You're going to see the same movie twice? Yeah, I kind of established that. Well, I'm going to go go home. I have to go home anyway. I have relatives coming. Okay. Oh, and Mindy, it was nice meeting you. Thanks. You too, Asia. Okay. Bye, Krista. Call me tonight, okay? I will. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, I really don't want to see that movie again. At least not today. Do you want to come in my house then? Sure, I'd love to. Great, let's go. <laughs> hey, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. How was the movie? It was great. Me and my new friend Mindy enjoyed it. I thought you went with Asia. I did. But we invited our new friend Mindy to come too. Oh, that's nice that you have a new friend. Yeah, I invited her to come over. Is that okay? Sure, but where is she? She's using the bathroom. Okay, um, why don't you go to your room and I'll send her to you. I'd like to meet this Mindy girl myself. Why? Don't you trust my judgment? Of course I trust your judgment. Now beat it. <sighs> that was close. Krista? Where on earth is she? I don't know my way on this house. Hi, Mindy. Uh, hi. How'd you know my name and who are you? I'm Krista's mother and Krista told me about you. Where is Krista? She's in her bedroom, but um, I wanted to meet you too. Oh, what's well, nice meeting you, Mrs. Maxwell. Thank you. Um, listen, I need to ask you a few questions. Why? I do that one. I do that with all the friends that Krista brings home for the first time. Don't take it personally. It's just um, a routine that we go through. How are you doing in school? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I just moved here last last Friday, so it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, um, how'd you do at your old school? I'm a straight-A student. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, no, I'm an only child, and I live with my dad. Oh, you don't, what happened to your mom? Uh, she died. Aren't you getting a little too personal with me? Chris's room is down the hall. You can go in. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. No, you didn't. You're right. I am pushing too hard. Let me know if you guys need anything. Okay, thanks. Come in. Hi, Chris. Wow, your room is really nice. Thanks. What took you so long? Your mother is interesting. She grilled me. Oh yeah, she does that every time I bring a new friend over. She wants to make sure that I have the right influence, you know? Oh, I see. I'm sorry if she made you uncomfortable. She did a little bit, but it's okay, I'm over it. I guess if I was a mother, I'd probably do the same thing. What are you doing? Oh, watching this funny video on YouTube. What is it? It's a show called The Nanny. It was a sh popular show in the 90s. The Nanny? Yes, it is hilarious. You've got to watch it. Okay, well, what episode are you watching? Well, this one's about when Fran becomes a shopaholic. Come on, watch it with me. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is funny. Yeah, I've been binge-watching it since since Friday when I met you. Oh. <laughs> but it's so funny, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But the jokes are a little too mature. I know, that's why I like it. My mom doesn't even know I watch it, so don't tell her, okay? I won't. It's your business, not mine. Would your mom let you watch The Nanny? Probably, because, um, 
This show looks familiar. I think my mom herself watches it. Like on Netflix or something. Oh. Well, that's cool. I wish my mom would let me watch it. But she usually doesn't. You vaxxed her? Well, when it was on TV, she goes, No, you can't watch the, You can't watch that show. But I watch it secretly on YouTube. How's mom going to find out? <laughs> well, at least it's not the Jerry Springer show. Oh my gosh, I know. My mom definitely doesn't let me watch that. My mom has a lot of restrictions on what I watch and what I don't watch. And it's crazy. Yeah, I guess. Uh, come in. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Mindy? What are you doing here? Chris invited me over. I thought you guys were going to see that movie again. We changed our mind. We decided to come over here. So you lied to me? No, I just changed my mind. And so did Mindy. Well, why didn't you tell me you were going to your house? Because you said you were too busy to hang out with us. You said you had relatives coming up. Well, they canceled. And I didn't come over once they canceled because I thought you'd be watching the movie again. What's the big deal? We just didn't want to see it any anymore. Yeah, as soon as I left. I bet you were planning this upon my back. Planning what? I bet you just want Mindy for yourself. And Mindy, you're stealing my best friend from me. Asia, you're acting ridiculous. Oh, I'm acting ridiculous? Please. Look, maybe I should go. No, Mindy, you don't have to go. Asia, I want you to go. If you're going to behave this way about me and Mindy, what's going on between the two of you? You make it sound like we're dating. We're not. We're just, me and Mindy are just friends. She's new. I just want to get to know her. So is she a new best friend now? At the moment she is because a best friend wouldn't act the way you're acting. Okay then. Have fun with your new best friend. Bye. Good riddance. Asia. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. You didn't, Mindy. I'm afraid I did by saying that you were my new best friend. You mean I'm not your new best friend? Well, technically you are, but I should have clarified that you're not my only best friend. Me and, we, me and Asia have known each other since kindergarten. I'm going to sixth grade now. I should have, I don't know. I, you know, maybe I should go. Yeah, I think you should. Um, look, I didn't mean to cause trouble. You didn't. I just need some time to myself. Okay. Should I call you tonight? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go. All right. I do. My goodness, I can't believe it's been 20 years since me and Asia have stopped speaking. I'm still living at home with my mother. And Mindy's away at college. I know what I'll do. I'll call Asia myself. Or I'll email her. What do you want? You came here fast. Well, what do you expect? I beamed myself in here. Can you join us in the 2030s, please? What do you want? Um, I wanted to say I was sorry about Whitney. I mean, about Mindy, not Whitney. I told you, I never liked you at all. And you should have made up with me 20 years ago. I tried, but you wouldn't listen to me. Well, I never liked you anyway. Because I'm prettier than you? No, because you're stupid. I resent that. I don't care. I don't like you at all. You're so mean. You're so, you're so bitter. You're the one who's being mean just because I made a new friend. Well, where is Mindy? 
She's at college. Why on June college? Why on June? I didn't do very well in school ever since our fight. As you know, I obviously wasn't valedictorian. No, I'm surprised you graduated at all. You didn't even win an honor war award. Listen, I just miss being friends with you. Well, no, I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. Come on, it was 20 years ago. I don't care if it was a million years ago. I'm out of here. Eat my dust. Wait, Asia, I'm sorry. Asia, come back. No! Oh my God, that was such a crazy dream. Come in. Krista, what was that scream? Sorry, Mom. Bad dream. Honey, I never really asked you. Ask me what? What happened? Why did your friends leave so quickly? Mindy left and then your best friend Asia left. What happened? Me and Asia had a fight. What did you fight about? Over a miscommunication. Okay, can you please say words I understand? <sighs> well, it's kind of complicated. You see, the three of us went to that movie. Yes, that part I know. And me and Mindy wanted thought about seeing it again, but we decided not to. And Asia had to go home for her because she said her relatives were coming over. But then when, but then when um. Then when Asia left, me and Mindy decided to come here. And Asia thinks that Mindy is taking me away from her. Asia thinks that I like Mindy better than her. Do you? Well, I said something that certainly didn't help the situation. What did you say? I said that Mindy was my new best friend. But I didn't mean that she was my only best friend. I just said she was my new best friend. And Asia got really mad and she left and then Mindy left because she said that she was a problem to us and now I don't know what to do. I see. Why didn't you give Mindy and Asia a call and fix it? How can I? Asia probably won't even talk to me and Mindy will probably be afraid to come over. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? If you like these girls as much as you say you do, it's worth a try, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Here. Give him a call. Okay. Mm. 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 Come on, Asia, pick up. Mm. Hello, this is Asia. Please leave me a message. Ugh! I don't know why she won't answer her phone. Is she really that mad at me because of you? I thought you said it wasn't my fault. It's not. I just mean that our friendship is really hard on Asia. Should I go? No. I want you to be my friend, but I want to be friends with Asia too. Well, I'm not stopping you from being friends with Asia. I know that. But when I met you, it stopped me from being friends with Asia. Are you saying it's my fault that Asia's mad at you? No, I'm sorry, Mindy. I didn't mean it like that. It's just... Come in. Hey, listen, I'm so... Oh, I didn't know Mindy would be here. Listen, guys, it's time for us to sit down and get this settled. Not with her in the room. Why do you hate Mindy so much? We were getting along so well at the theater earlier. Why are you acting so immature? Oh, I'm immature? Yeah, you are. Sit down. I want us, the three of us, to be friends. Why can't we, the three of us, be friends? Well, that's what I want, too. Asia's the only one that doesn't want it. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Take Chris aside. What else is new? What do you mean, what else is new? This is the first time we hung out. Listen, guys, you guys either work it out or I'm not going to be friends with any of you because I can't stand being in the middle. Sorry, Debbie, I'm the one who's in the middle. 
you guys are... Okay, maybe you are in the middle, but... Still, it's... It's just... You know, I don't know. Okay, listen. Maybe I got a little jealous because you guys were friends. A little jealous? Don't push it, Krissa. Okay. The point is... Is that I want the three of us to be friends. I don't want to have to compete with who I'm going to be friends with. Again, that's in my situation, not yours, Krista. Well, both of you want to be friends with me, but you don't want to be friends with each other. I want to be friends with Asia, but Asia doesn't like me for some reason. <sighs> Mindy, it's not that I don't like you. I just thought you were trying to sabotage me and Krista's friendship. I would never do that. I moved here. When I moved here, I wanted friends. I didn't want to have to choose between two nice people to be friends with. I want to make lots of friends. Can't me and Krista be friends? And, and you and Krista still be friends? I don't want to be the reason that you guys aren't friends. You're not. No, you're not. It was just my jealousy that, that got that got out of hand. I was afraid you were stealing Krista from me. I don't, I didn't steal anything from you. I don't make Krista do anything. She chooses to be friends with me. I know. Are you trying to say you're sorry for the fight? Yeah, I am. It just hurt when you said that Mindy was your new best friend. Yes, she's my new best friend. But what I forgot, what I regretted to tell you was that she was, she was my second best friend. Like me, that didn't mean that you and I weren't best friends. Really? Really, and I should have clarified that. Well, I didn't really give you a chance. I just stormed off. I know, but it was partly my fault because I didn't really talk to you about it. So can the three of us be friends? I would like that. What, what do you say, Asia? I say it's great. Besides, I really like you and Mindy. I don't want to have problems between the three of us. Great, finally. Let's watch The Nanny on YouTube. Yeah, Chris has showed me The Nanny. It was It's such a funny show. Okay. I'll watch it. Great. Here, let me put it on full screen so all of us can watch it. Okay. It's a really funny show. <laughs> Come in. Hi, girls. Oh my god, I gotta close my computer. Relax, I know you're watching the nanny. I'm sorry, mom. It's okay. You guys, you girls are in... You girls are in sixth grade now. I trust your judgment. I just don't want to hear you using those pickup lines when you're talking to people. I won't, I promise. Okay. Did you girls make up? Yeah, we did. Well, Krista, if your friends want, they could stay over for dinner. I would love that. How about you guys? That depends. What are we having? Well, I thought I'd make spaghetti and meatballs. It's my specialty. Sounds good. What about you, Asia? Great. Good. And how would you guys, girls like to have a sleepover next weekend? We'd love it. Yeah, I would like that too. Me too. Great. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay, thanks. Wow. Your mom actually is letting you watch the nanny? Yeah, I guess she trusts me more than I thought. <laughs> Come on, let's watch you let's watch it until until dinner's ready. Okay. I'm glad we're all friends. Me too. <laughs>